Welcome to the Pro Kitchen Microsoft Surface Pro 3 video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how Pro Kitchen works on the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 using the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 three button fine point stylus. Man, that's a mouthful. So the little stylus on the Microsoft Surface 3 has a purple button on the top of it that actually isn't used in Pro Kitchen. It opens OneNote if you click on it. The other two buttons that are located on the barrel of the stylus act as your right and left mouse buttons. Let's get started on the design and take a look and see how Pro Kitchen works on Microsoft Surface Pro 3 using the little stylus. So to get started we do a double tap on Pro Kitchen and it pops right open for us just like normal. And here we're going to create a new design. We're going to click OK. And just like normal we come in here and we open our file folder and now you'll see we got this little window down here, this little digipad that pops up, or alpha pad as the case is on this one. And here we can name our design. S U R F A Z. How about A? A Surface Tutorial. Surface Tutorial. Okay. And now we can come through here and we can set up our customer, our dealer, our designer. Notice that little pad pops up when we need it. Um, we're going to come set some moldings, some top moldings. And I'm going to use Craftmade Particle Board Catalog for this. And so my top molding, I want to be my classic crown. And my toe kick, matching toe kick. And my 3D, I want to make some adjustments here. So I want to change my countertop. We'll come and grab something like this guy will work. And change my wall covering color. And I'm just tapping on what I want. And my flooring. And OK. So now I've got all my new colors in here. And I'm going to hit OK. And just like in Pro Kitchen, it takes me right to my design field. And my walls are attached to my pointer now, so I am ready to start designing my walls. So I'm going to come down here and click in my lower corner because just like Pro Kitchen, we want to do it in a clockwise fashion. And you'll notice when I click down here and start moving my mouse, I've got all the angles just like in normal. And I can move over here to my digipad and I can type in my length. And I click OK and there's my length. And again, OK. And again, OK. And I'm going to add one more wall here, 48. But this time I'm not going to hit OK. I'm going to hit Next. And it's going to take me over here to my angle, 135 and OK. And there's that wall in there at an angle. Now if I'm done designing walls, which I am, we can either hit Click or click, hit Click. We can hit 0 and OK. Or we could have come up here and clicked on our Select Mode, and that would have ended it as well. Now let's take a quick look at editing our walls. We're just going to come out here and tap on the wall and it's going to bring up four little points, five little points, two circles and three squares. If we click on a circle it gives us rotate. If we click on a square it gives us a change of our length. This one changes that length. And I do want that to stay 66 so I'm going to hit OK. This one changes this length. And then this one also changes rotation. Just like normal on a PC. And our undo button sets us back. And now I don't want this wall on my design. I want to get rid of it. So to get rid of it, I'm just going to hold my 
stylus over that wall for just a fraction of a second until that little circle builds. When that little circle builds, I can lift it off and access my menu and delete. So now I've got my walls in here and we can start with our design. So I want to change my catalogs here to Craftmade Particle Board and I want to start my base cabinets and base corner of course and you know before I set my base cabinets in there let's set my window so I'm just going to click on window and it pulls up my windows and I want to do a we'll do a single hung and 36 high in brown will be just right and place and I'm just going to tap it out here and I can drag it side to side put it where I want it I'll close. In this case, I want it centered, so I'm just going to grab my menu, hit center, click on the wall, centers it on the wall for me. My window is placed and ready to go. Now I can click on it here again, bring up my menu, and come to attributes. And enter my attributes, I can come in here and I can adjust my window. I can do special shapes, I can do my grill patterns in it or not and I don't want to grill on that one so I'm going to take it out um, I can change the color in it uh, if I want to we're just going to leave it the way it is for now and we're going to hit OK now I can set my base cabinets we want to do one of these now to select these I can either double click here and pull it up or if you have a little more precision you can come over here and you can just do a single click on the plus button there and it'll open that up for you. Now to place these, we place just like we do on PC or Mac. We select it, and we grab it, and move it into place. And they're probably backwards. I should probably have flip those, but they'll work for our design purposes. Now I need a few more cabinets. So I need a base cabinet. I need a base cabinet over here. An 18. I need another 18 over here. I need a 30 over here, and I need a sink base. I'm just going to scroll down and grab my sink base, sink base, sink base 36 butt right there. You'll notice my distance on mouse navigation, or in this case stylus navigation works. So I know I need an 18 up there, so let's do a 18 drawer base. And so drawer base, I'm sure with accessories, why not? We don't want accessories. Drawer base, there we go. Three drawer base, and I need an 18, and so we just grab it and drop it in like that. I need one more cabinet out here for my base cabinets. I need a 30 left, and that guy just needs to be down here. Whoops, needs to be a little farther. Now you notice to move that, I just grabbed it with my stylus and moved it. Makes it really easy to slide those along your walls. Now, I need some wall cabinets, so I find that as I'm working here, it's easier for me if I keep all this stuff closed out as I'm done with it. And let's place some appliances real quick. Let's do our cooking, our refrigerator, not our refrigerator, our range. We'll do our refrigerator too, but range 30 inch freestanding place there it is I can slide that over to it refrigeration you notice I slid that cabinet while still having this open that's kind of cool to be able to do that bottom freezer stainless steel this guy will work just nicely whoa not like that bottom freezer stainless steel place drop it right in there cancel if you want to edit this guy go right to attributes we can adjust it up see here we've got 33 whoops my digipad automatically popped up there okay and then we can come down here to this one 33 is a little deep let's do this at 30 deep okay and okay and okay and there's my new resized refrigerator down there. And now we're ready for a sink before I place my wall cabinets. And to get that sink, again, you just hold your 
stylus on it until you get the little round circle and then that opens up your menus and my sinks they're all attached in here now this is the same way as it is on Pro Kitchen and I love the fact that you can come in here and it gives you a little highlight before you select it and there's my faucets now you'll notice over here that they are set properly so now it's time for some wall cabinets so let's start here in our wall corner we'll open that up and diagonal curved um, 30 inch high Yeah, that's the guy I want. I'll put them in here backwards so that they match our base cabinets. Right and left. There we go. Close it out. And now some standard cabinets, 30 inches high. Going to need a few 27s out here. One there. One there. That is not a 27. I need that one there. This one's wrong. So to change that, I can either come in here. Whoops, come on. I can go to my menu. And I can either delete or I can replace. And I just want to replace. 30, 27, replace. There we go. Quick and easy. Almost painless. Need another, whoops, that's 37. 27 butt up here. Whoops, again. So we can just come and replace that guy. 33, 33 butt, replace. There we go. Now I need a 21 lefty right here. Hey, I know what size that one is. And then I need some little shorties. We need a 30, 15 over the range right there. And then I need a 12, 36, 12 over my refrigerator right there. And there we've got all of our cabinets placed. Now, we can come in and do our countertop and our toe kicks and our moldings and all of that good stuff. So let's start with our countertop. We've got countertop designer. We also have uh, the quick and easy way to place countertops, which you're going to do here. You just click on it zaps your tops all in. Remember we set the countertop color earlier so that countertop is in there in the proper color. We've got backsplash I can set right from that button right there and we've got moldings I can set by simply clicking on that button right there. So now you can see I've got countertop, I've got toe kick, and I've got crown. So all of our moldings are set in there. Oh and if you look right up here backsplash. So there we've got all of our moldings out here now I need to set my global specifications and you should probably do this in the beginning especially if you're doing a full design for a customer because global specifications um, set your dependencies so it makes sure that the cabinets you're placing are all available in what you've chose. So let's do Amherst Hickory. We just want to double click on that to send it over there. There we go and standard drawer options and we'll choose a color and then we can do plywood ends and none and none all right now close this window and let's take a look at our 3D generates right up for us and now your stylus allows us to rotate our 3D we don't need to use these buttons up here so if I take my stylus and I just put it on the screen and move my stylus around it moves my design if I hold down my upper button on the barrel of my stylus I get rotate nice smooth fluid rotation and 
so there's a nice design we can zoom in and out with that guy we've added a slider bar over here to make zooming easy so you can zoom in and out you can adjust it up and down and right and left and round and round zoom in a little bit more and we also have high definition we'll click on that guy we'll let it zip out a high definition design for us see how fast that generates it doesn't quite do it quite that fast in full size but you've got all of the same information over here that you have in PC and Mac so you can adjust the glossiness of everything you can add light to it you can change the resolution size um, you can add additional highlights and maximum image quality and then hit render we're not going to render it up this time so as you can see Pro Kitchen works exactly the same on Microsoft Surface Pro 3 as it does on PC or Mac the only difference being the three button fine point stylus which is key to the functionality of the Surface Pro 3. So if you combine Pro Kitchen with Surface Pro 3 we end up with the ultimate lightweight ultra portable kitchen design software solution. Thank you for watching the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 and Pro Kitchen video tutorial.